Okay, so here are some images generated by ClipDrop using SDXL 0.9. The prompt was God of Flowers fantasy setting. And here are images I generated locally. Um, <laughs> honestly, a little disturbing and weird. And then after changing just two parameters, here are the images generated by the same model in the same environment. Much, much better. And finally, after adding the refiner model, it adds nice little details, colors, and also improves the hands and faces from my observation. Okay, let's try again, but more photorealistic. Slightly weird prompt, but I took it from my journey server. Clip drop does great. Um, <laughs> again, locally kind of weird generations. You can have your own judgments, I wouldn't comment. And then finally, after changing just two parameters, significantly better images locally, more consistent faces and facial features, much better background and dresses. And after refining, the outfits become so much better. It adds accessories, other finer touches, improves the background as well as the face, shadows, lighting, hands. Okay, so how do we go from very bad to pretty good? Well, let's start where we left off and work incrementally. If you're not sure how to get to this point, you can watch the short 2 minutes video by me about how to install it locally. I'll link it above as well as at the end of this video. So let's generate some images with the default settings first. God of Flowers fantasy setting. Um, an interesting image with a flower for head. Let's repeat a couple more times. And so those were the images generated by default settings. All right, so changing just one setting improved the output by 90%. Let us change the latent or empty image size from 512 into 512 to 1024 into 1024. This might seem counterintuitive, but let's see the output first. Wow, maybe not as creative, but pretty damn good. And let's run a couple more times to check if this was a fluke. And it really isn't. This significant difference is because the model itself was trained on 1024 into 1024 images, so it can generate images in that size much better than anything else. The second setting to change is the sampler. Changing it from Euler to this can improve the generated images, hands, faces and details, at least in some cases. Feel free to experiment around. Some samplers give very, very weird results. Okay, let's try generating photorealistic image. This is the prompt that I copied from my journey. Here are some images generated using the default settings. And here is the first generation after just changing the image size, increasing it from 512 to 1024. The first quick observation is the difference in the background. All images generated at higher resolution have a much more detailed, much more active background. The outfits and facial features and accessories are also more detailed. This is further accentuated after changing the sampler as can be seen by these examples. Now Stability also released a refiner model which further refines the images and it really does refine them. So let's add that as well. Adding it is pretty simple but we'll just import this workflow by Camandrew. I'll link it in the comments. Basically just clear your space first and then click on the load button and load this json file so it basically adds the refiner model as a checkpoint passes the same prompts as the base model to this model we add a new sampler but instead of passing an empty latent image we pass the image generated by the base model to this model as an input and then it refines that image further using the same prompt uh, a different sampler but again feel free to experiment okay let's try it out with god of flowers oops looks like i ended up writing god of war by habit anyways let's see how the refiner differs as you can see a lot more details and highlights in the background also change the back of the god completely all right let's actually try with god of flowers now as you can see there is a prominent difference in the face facial features as well as other details such as background as well as the outfits hands and we can run it again and again finally for the more realistic prompt similar changes 
a lot of changes in the facial features, saturation of colors, finer details on the outfits and accessories, as well as people and objects in the background. I ran it a couple more times. Anyways, these are not the final most refined settings. There is a lot of room for improvement, but this is pretty close to the current clip drop quality, at least in my opinion. If anyone further finds it further, I'll definitely post a new video about it. If you don't have enough VRAM to run both of these models, or even the base model, don't worry, unless something else comes up, the next SDXL video will cover how to run it locally on lower end cards, as well as AMD GPUs if that's possible. Stay tuned, and here's the video about how to set up SDXL locally if you haven't already. If not, please do subscribe for more latest AI open source stuff.